And their senses tear people apart when they eat them. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. If you don't know, my name is Brittany and I film videos basically based around anything paranormal or creepy or mythological. So if that's something that you think very loud. We live right on a busy road right now, so if you hear the sirens, that's why. Um, but if that's something that interests you, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Sorry that everything's kind of everywhere right now. We are in the process of moving soon, so everything is literally everywhere. And I am wearing the same shirt as I was in another video because I filmed two videos today. So today we are going to be talking about Kelpies. Now Kelpies are a Scottish creature often associated with the fairy realm and they're also a type of water horse. Now to give you an idea of a water horse, if any of you have seen Frozen 2, the, uh, I think it's called the Knock, maybe? It's the one that Elsa, it's the water spirit that Elsa tames. Now they are said to possibly be an oracular horse spirit who uh, humans actually see made human sacrifices to, which is very disturbing. They are usually said to be malevolent and are seen most commonly on Sundays, looking for people who didn't go to church. They are believed to inhabit every lake and stream. However, it, some are believed to inhabit locks and rivers. If seen, they are believed to be an omen of death. And no matter what you do, it said that this awful thing will come to pass. Like, so once you see one, it said that you will not survive, basically. So, oddly enough, they're actually known as excellent builders. It's a very, like, positive, odd fact about them is that they're just really good builders. They're also known to shapeshift. The most common form that a Kelpie takes is a horse. However, they can shapeshift into a beautiful young maiden, a handsome man, a sh shaggy old man, or an old woman. As horses, they actually appear on lakes and riverbanks grazing peacefully and they lure travelers to mount them, only to plunge into the waters and drown their victims. So when they plunge into the waters, that is where they are said to eat their victims. And for some reason, they save the livers which rise to the surface, which I guess they don't do anything with them. They will also jump on solitary riders and crush them or people walking. And they're said to tear people apart when they eat them. So if you see a Kelpie, just leave. They are also known to abduct human women to carry them back to their realm, to have children with them and be married to them. Though they also may abduct human women to be midwives or wet nurses for them. Now in the form of a horse, a Kelpie looks rather docile and may try to convince you to ride them. So they will literally like nudge you and like just try to invite you onto their back. They're typically ready to ride. So they even have a saddle on them. So they simply look like a horse that got lost from their owner. Like the other thing is Kelpies are spirits. So they're water spirits, so they don't need to come up for air. So they can, as long as it takes to drown their victim, it's fine for them. Now, there's many different types of stories and many different stories about Kelpies. And some of them vary slightly, other ones are completely different. There are ones who steal children, 
but also ones who seal husbands and wives together or fishermen or masons to build their chimneys, which is very odd, especially since they're supposed to be great builders. Maybe they don't know how to build chimneys. So in male form, they're usually very hairy. When they're in female form, they often appear to men in rivers and lakes and try to lure them from the water's edge. Female Kelpies tend to behave a lot more like sirens. And if you guys don't know what a siren is, I will drop the link down below and you can go and check out that video. Now they are said to either be black, gold, or white. And it's said that once, like when a Kelpie is in the form of a horse, once the victim gets on their back, that their hide grows sticky and their victim cannot get off. They also have the power to cause floods because remember, they are a water spirit. And when they are in the form of a horse, they will sometimes have a magic brittle. And whoever has this can control the Kelpie and it forces the Kelpie to do something against their will. Now, this actually leads to the risk of being cursed by it and meeting with nothing but misfortune in the person's future. It's also said that if you do not return this brittle to the Kelpie within a day, that the Kelpie will actually die. Now, according to legend, Scotland's clan, McGregor, is in possession of a Kelpie's brittle. So like, to this day is in, like that clan is in possession of an actual Kelpie's brittle. Highlander James McGregor took on the Kelpie in the early 19th century, cutting off the Kelpie's brittle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now the Kelpie tried to beg McGregor to give it him, or to give it back his brittle before actually following McGregor home. Now when the Kelpie got to McGregor's house, it actually couldn't cross the threshold through the door into his home because of the cross above the door. So McGregor just shrugged and dropped the brittle through a window before proceeding to walk through the door, which kind of sounds like it was almost more to like taunt the Kelpie, like, ha ha, you can't get this because why else would he go through all the effort to um, toss the brittle through the window when he's gonna walk through the door? Unless the like Kelpie was like close to getting him or something. But that is how the McGregor clan actually ended up with a Kelpie's brittle. Now Kelpies are also said to have the strength of 10 horses. So they are incredibly strong. Now one story tells of a group of reapers in a nearby field and saw the water spirit as it called out, the hour has come, but not the man, and then plunged into the waters. Now, just then a rider on a horse dashed up to the false ford as though to dive in after the Kelpie, but the reapers had interceded and they stopped the horse and dragged the man, kicking and screaming into a nearby church. They told him they would keep him locked up there for an hour, the ill hour as it's called, as the Kelpie was trying to work evil for this period of time. So basically like this guy was kind of in a trance. When the hour was up, the reapers returned to the church only to find that the man was dead he had fallen into a stone trough of water and drowned himself. So essentially this goes to the fact that if you see the Kelpie like, and you're under its spell, that, that spell, nothing you can do can break that spell. Another tale tells of a child that was enticed to stroke Kelpie's nose. And while he managed to escape, he had to cut his own finger off to do so which I don't think I could do that. Now, there are ways to tell if someone is a Kelpie or if something is a Kelpie in disguise. So if it is a horse, their tail or their mane will not stop dripping even on a dry, hot day. If they are human, they will have hoofs and often 
And either way, they would have water weed in their hair. And as far as with like, if they're like in the disguise of a human, that would be such a strange sight to see because they would look like a human and then their feet would be hooves. And like their hands, I'm guessing would be hooves too. And that'd be very strange. Now it is said that if you suspect a Kelpie is in horse form, you're supposed to hit it. You'll be so surprised, it will actually glitch and drop its horse form. Now the other thing is it like, I, like, Kelpies are water spirits and they most commonly take the shape of a horse. But it doesn't, anything I, I've seen on Kelpies, it doesn't say what they actually look like. So that's, I think it's kind of interesting that it never says what their true form is. Now, Kelpies can also be forced into marriage. If a young woman stole the brittle of a Kelpie, then the Kelpie in their handsome human form would be forced to become her husband, and that goes for any gender and whatnot. So some people actually believe that Kelpies are a form of a demon or a devil. Now this is because of the story with McGregor with the fact that the Kelpie couldn't cross the threshold because of the cross above the door. And the other fact that they're most commonly seen on Sunday. Now some Kelpies are said to be able to be driven off with cold iron. And it is said that they are keen on devouring groups of children all at once. And that the horse's back will actually grow longer and longer in order to fit all of the children on its back, which is such a disturbing thought. Now, howling or wailing is also said to give a Kelpie's locate, like the fact that they're there away because they often signal incoming storms. Now, the ruined Vane Castle stands north of Forfar. Now, the sandstone near the river actually has a hoof imprint which people claim came from a real Kelpie. And it's also said that some sightings of the Loch Ness Monster can be explained using Kelpie stories. And the sightings date back to the sixth century when St. Columba apparently defeated a monster in the area. And many believe that the Loch Ness Monster is actually a Kelpie. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the Loch Ness Monster is actually a Kelpie? And what do you think that a Kelpie actually looks like? And have you ever seen one or seen any type of water spirit or anything like it? Definitely message down below if you have and or even just what you think of it. They're definitely not a creature that you would want to come in contact with. I mean, it would definitely be cool to see one, but it'd be cool to see a lot of things. But an actual face-to-face -face interaction with them, probably not the best idea. But definitely let me know what you think down below. And if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It would literally mean the world to me, you guys. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you next time.